The Tory Lanez trial just came to an end, and he was found guilty of all three charges uh, that he was prosecuted for. And uh, I got to be honest, I was watching this from the perspective of like just being a person and being a psychotherapist. And I noticed a trend in this story that impacted me and I wanted to share what I saw and what I think we could learn from this. So if you don't know, the story is that Tory Lanez was out with uh, a woman, a rapper by the name of Meg Thee Stallion. They got into an argument about Tory Lanez dating her and dating someone else, whatever the argument was. And he pulled out a gun allegedly, or no longer allegedly, but he pulled out a gun and fired the gun at the ground and bullet fragments went into Meg Thee Stallion's foot. Tory Lanez was arrested for this and prosecuted, like they indicted him. But here's where it gets interesting. Meg Thee Stallion said from the beginning exactly what happened. And I, I think that we have to do a better job of listening to women when they say they're being mistreated and when they say they, they're being mistreated by men. Um, what happened on social media in the two years since the incident and then the trial and subsequent conviction was heartbreaking because Meg Thee Stallion was like, here's what happened, here's the night it happened, here's all the details of what happened. And people on social media just called her a liar. Like they weren't there, they don't know, they just weren't, they wasn't there. A friend of mine is a, is a uh, celebrity and he interacts with the public with the public a lot in his celebrity. And he was saying that watching this unfold was hard for him because if you follow like social media and like internet bloggers, you would think Tory Lanez is about to get off. But if you actually follow the trial, you follow the facts of the case, he's gonna be convicted. And this friend of mine was telling me this like three or four days before the verdict. And he was like, he's gonna be convicted. There's no evidence other than the evidence that confirms that he was the person pulling the trigger. But on social media, on the internet bloggers, like it might have been this other person or it might have been this person. And it's just sad when, when you watch Meg the Stallion and you watch her take the take the stand and you watch her in interviews like the woman is heartbroken simply because she wants to be heard. Now, I've made videos about topics like this before. The greatest gift you can give somebody is to hear them. And I think women live in a world where when they talk about abuse, when they talk about uh, being mistreated by men, the most common experience they have is having not been believed. And I, I think we need to do a better job as a society. So I think it's sad. Like, I think it's sad when anyone uh, has to go to prison and Tory Lanez is probably gonna get sentenced to prison for a lot of years uh, in the next coming weeks, whenever whenever the sentencing hearing is. Uh, and, and Meg Thee Stallion has to live with this the rest of her life. In fact, there's bullet fragments still on her feet to this day and she has to live with this for the rest of her life however it's what he um it's what is it's what being held accountable looks like he did something where he has to be held accountable this is what that looks like so i pray for meg the stallion and i pray for women all women who are being mistreated by men and anticipate society not believing them we need to do a better job